straight back into this wonderful battle. So, where we left off, pretty much equal back battle cruisers. Uh, they got more se secondaries, but I've got slightly bigger mains. I saw a battleship. Let's fight then. Ferrari class. This must be happening outside my own. Oh, uh, yeah. I think there might be another ship here that's not under my control. Find your range. Yes, that Diana class is taking some of the secondaries. Ah, yes. Oh, we've landed another hit. Just now to keep on this and hope they can convert that into a series of others. Level one. Don't think we've been hit yet. I don't know, that's just a turret jam. Eh, turret jam. Okay, I'm going to have to actually turn into them now. Because I'm about to hit the coastline, which would have been safe. They're being chased by very small battleships, that's why we keep getting the bees. Pokane takes a hit. Can. Ah, that's what sheep finally gets hit, but you yeah, know, I can accept this. We're closing the range slightly. But our guns. Ooh, that's a good salvo. Is it medium damage? And we get another hit after that, and another hit after that. It's currently only making 15 knots, so I'm actually going to drop our speed to stop um, tiring out our um, stokers. And apparently, it's uh, improved our accuracy slightly for the secondaries. As we are now hitting their um, gunners quite, their swords quite accurately. I'm liking this. Uh, low ammunition is going to be our main problem, but I can just turn north and get the hack a day. Alright, we're trading fire. But the, fl the flooding is quite limited. Oh, here come the destroyers. There goes torpedoes. Okay, so my battleships are now, my battle cruisers are now running independently. If I set it to lead formation, just get AI controlled, that should be fine. Come on, launch the torpedoes into them. Tend to lose control. Okay, yeah, they just set themselves back into. AI. Okay, I don't want to actually let them go. The 
they both got heavy damage, I'm still pretty good. Maybe I've got always a few jam turrets. Taking out two power cruisers, they're still in the war would be pretty damn key. If I have enough ammo to do it. The diverge is hit twice. Doesn't help me because you know, they're pretty similar. Yeah, we'll pick up a few survivors. Give some people destroyer at least. Ah, that's a nose, takes two. One thirteen inch, one two inch. Oh, there she is. This crossing disappears. I mean, I assume it's the spoke. Smoker. Spoke. Spoke just sounds weird. Why YouTubers shouldn't have speech impediments? Okay, okay, yes, but maybe we are running low on ammunition. Look all the damage we're doing. We're hitting at least two hits for every one night doing on us. Yep, yeah, their guns are still firing. That's a bad series of volleys for them. Just blow up, please. Letting them close, so hopefully this will increase the penetration. Yeah, she's definitely just slowed. Five knots. Not not enough to say she's 100% dead, but it doesn't mean my destroyer should be able to do a serious bit of damage to her. Come back in like this. Oh, the night's gonna save her. We've hit twilight, but let's go in close. Another volley like that, and we'll uh, finish her. I'm amazed all the guns are still active. Nine inch turrets, we should have annihilated them. I think we've taken out a good chance of taking a rudder out anyway. Do you have torpedoes I can get you to fire? This now would be a very good time to fire them. Okay, maybe the yeah, camera's out of ammunition. Oh, she's not bound in a disabled turret. Oh yes, I stripped the torpedo mounts out, didn't I? Ooh, well, she's dead in the water. Let's turn these for home then. Got the same one. Yeah. I got one battleship kill anyway. Comes the proper night. I 
They fired up every round we had, so can't call that bad. Fire up more torpedoes into the night. Okay, maybe I missed the port there. Slightly. Right, so my battle cruisers are safe. Have battle cruisers are anything but. Another chance of settling up the you know, damage now. There's definitely something going on. But torpedoes and light cruisers fighting. But, you know, I can't see it, so. I have nothing at sea. Just auto resolve this. There we go. Heavy damage to one battle cruiser, sunk again over here. Took out a destroyer. Oh, they got multiple. They got at least three to vary, haven't they? Because we took out the Occupy. Hmm. Hey, getting prestige back. And I'm now just. Around and we're blockading them. That's fantastic. So, let's design a new ship. I'm going to go for armored cruiser. I'm going to make him 15,000 tons, 28 knots. Drop the armor slightly. Twelve-inch main guns. Sounds good. Forward, aft, forward centre line, aft centre line. I'm going to make these dual turrets. Because, yeah, this isn't actually a. That would be a battle cruiser. It'd be a light battle cruiser. Be like that. Reduce this down to a manageable tonnage. On forward, forward centre line, acid. I don't have forward superimposed, do I? I'm like, a bit weird. Captain on. I'll fix that in a second. Normal. Tweed a defense up. Make a long range. I accept that will make her quite a bit more expensive. But she's a raider. I'm gonna drop the actually gonna drop the belt, extend a little bit just Break some tonnage off her. Hmm. Should have read up probably strip another half an inch and then it's there. Let's try that as a radar. Right, 
2.9. I can afford to build one of them. Apparently, I lost one of my raiding destroyers. My ghost destroyers, anyway. Oh, it damaged the yeah, coastal patrol. Nine months and the first Mecha Godzilla comes out. That's going to change the war. Right, cruiser action again. Near Fusand. Another Gajira class battle cruiser and a couple of Asama class old armored cruisers. Old light cruiser. Hmm. What are we heading into this time? Let's send me a camera out to have a look. Oh, multiple enemy ships. As long as they're not all battle cruisers, I should be able to deal with this. Three armored cruisers. Eleven of tons, eight inch guns. Ah, yeah, this is gonna be a bit of an easier one. So let's pull the camera down to the south east. Okay, I'm gonna do it that way there. Hit an enemy destroyer and take a hit to one of our old armor cruisers. Oh dear. Run to pursue sand. Because that's the enemy battle line. Of course, if we can, you know, wreck their armored cruisers while we're at it, I'm all for that. Camera's taking some serious hits now. So she should turn. Oh, she put the fire out. One of those armor cruisers is broken off. Light damage. She's probably the one we've you know, hit several times. Yeah, now we're targeting the VX and the Asama. Oh, no, we're not targeting the Asama, that's what I was. Ah, oh, problem with legacy ships, you don't remember them. the engine room and not what you want when you've got all that following you. Oh, we're doing some good damage to the VX class. Yep. Run rabbit, run rabbit, run, run, run. I accept increased flooding. As long as you can get away from that fleet. Nearly there. Go 
go in and hide. No, that's not hiding, that's chasing. Chasing is like the opposite of hiding. Stupid ass machinery. Right. Get a new flag force. Run for the reason. Nope, looks like the Asam has decided she wants to get a kill. If you brought you to thinking. She's making good feed feed for something thinking. Yeah, go on. Knight's gonna save us. Just sort of sit here and wait for the clock to sit down. That could have gone a lot worse. I think we'll win this one just through damage. But yeah, that could have been nasty. We have time for one more turn if there's a enemy ship hit by torpedo. Does that mean that there's coastal forces around? Yeah, they're after one of my own. I have to let them get to the convoy. Yeah, there's the destroyers. It feels something valuable hit by torpedo. We haven't had any torpedo hits on here, so I should be able to pick it up fairly quick. Should be anything on their side hit by a torpedo. On cruise or light. Two battle cruisers. Hey, mind of victory. Hmm, armored cruiser. One of their armored cruisers sank. So that's all good. As well as my victories, it's actually going to give me a good you know, points difference. Now we're being blockaded, and we're blockading the enemy. So I'm guessing the British are blockading the Russians in the North Sea, and they're blockading us in Northeast Asia. So I need to go get my Southeast Asia ships back to Northeast Asia. One of the Gajiras there, and a bunch of the uh, more modern ships. Superintendent B turrets, that's useful. Top down Russian armored coastal raid. Yeah, it should be okay. Size three, so we're pretty lucky to actually get a couple of heart cruisers. And they've been spotted all the way over there. Yeah, that's a lot of contacts. That is a hell of a lot of contacts. I'm hoping they screwed up that. Uh, something shooting at a KZ class.
Alright, can I thread them through there? This is when the AI doesn't trust your shooting, your sailing. Increase speed a little bit. I'm expecting it to be well done by the time we get there. Casey's reach port. And I'm just flying around these little contacts. Burning all my coal. In the hope that, you know, I'm going to meet, run into them. Damn Russian victories. Of my ships get through the blockade, it'll be fine. Yeah, marginal victory. Okay. Make sure you out for a month. Seven months and Mecha Godzilla will come out. Really, she's probably already out of um, date. Let's have a look what the Russians have actually got. I think I've got a couple of minutes left. Six towns on the building. They basically just got these to average class, and the building of twenty-four one thousand ton mail. As is, I've got plenty of money to get the Mecha Godzilla finished, and then that will give me. Hopefully, the war will have, won't have ended in seven months. I've currently on zero unrest. That's good. Victory winning. British are helping with the blockade. So we're actually winning on that. Um, I'm just going to increase that to high. And that should do me till the next one. Alright, see you guys.